Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. First off, did you know K. Oten have a new, well, a debut full-length record? Because my sister grabbed me a long sleeve from the new album. Dark Descent, MSUO, I don't know who's handling the cassette, but so fucking stoked because I love KO and like the festering excarnation demo compilation. Oh, one of my favorites. So like when my one sister she, she was like, hey, I got you something you'd actually like want. I was like, what? And fuck yeah. I was like, whoa, that's sick. But Thanks to Future Tomb, Kian, I'm sorry if I messed your name up, brother. Yo, remember when you guys first dropped your demo? Consuming the deceased, and I said, there's something here. You guys tapped into it. Now, I'm gonna rewind the A side because if you don't know, all right. For all you millennials out there, there was a cult following a comet called Hailbop and these people called the Heaven's Gate cult. They all wore like matching outfits, Nikes, and I think they took cyanide capsules to accomplish this goal that was to leave Earth and I'm pretty sure by dying you gained access to this UFO that would take you to a different, like, plane of existence. I don't really know all the details off the top of my head. I used to, but, like, I, I really don't anymore. But Future Tomb is a duo at the moment. I'm not sure if they were a duo in the demo days. Let's check real quick. And, yes, they were. We have Cayenne and, and Juan. Juan, I'm sorry. And now we have uh, Kian and Mark Novia. And that's fucking sick. But um, you get five tracks here. Desert Wastelands once again. And I've been meaning to go over this. But I really wanted to kind of bring back everything to the demo because if you go back and watch my video talking about the demo I legit I'm like you know there's something here and I just really think the band needs a little bit more time to just dial in their sound and guess what they did they dialed in their fucking sound and it sounds fantastic because this is one of those releases, like, when Kian was like, yo, like, you know, I'm going to shoot this over. I was just like, wow. Because first off, the cover art immediately caught my attention. I was just like, whoa. Like, what the fuck? That is awesome. And with the Accursed Womb, uh... Crushing the Larva of the Christ demo, looking to get a vinyl release. Part of me wants to do a split LP. Have our demo on one side and another band's demo on the other. The way fucking Kill Records does. Like, Carcinoid's demo on side A and Gasudar's demo is on side B. And 180 gram vinyl, like, all hand numbered. Fucking Kill Records doesn't play around. And I really, really like their, you know, splits and stuff. 
and just splits in general on 12 inch I fucking I'm like a sucker for this shit I, I love them this, this is just a, a classic if you didn't know I could kill whoever put the fucking sticker on the actual record but it is what it is I'm just happy to have a copy of that bad boy and I just love splits like I, re I really do I'm like a weirdo about that shit, but uh, at first I was thinking, I was like, oh, like maybe we can fit the whole demo on a 10 inch. And I, I don't know how that all works and stuff, so. Anyways, this would be great on a 12 inch, like, because, yeah, Future Tomb have really, really stepped their game up songwriting wise. I just. The riffs on here are very memorable. I really like the track Afterbirth. It's fucking cool. Like, it, I just like everything about it. It's just a good death metal song. It's written extremely well. And here's why it sounds so good. Ethan Camp engineered this bad boy. Recorded and engineered by Ethan Camp at Big Fish Studios. Boom. And then mastered by Dan Lowndes at Renaissance Sound Studios. Brad Moore artwork. Brad really killed it this year with nightmare imagery and everything. Like, ridiculous. Am I confusing people? Wait, Brad Moore is... Oh, I just drew a fucking blank. Brad Moore is... Uh, Nightmare imagery, correct? If I'm wrong, I apologize. I, I should know that off the top of my head, but I just drew a blank. But, um, yeah. I'm, uh, being a nerd and look. Oh, there's my name! Oh! Oh! <laughs> nah, it's fucking sick. Dude, my name's in the Stress Angel 12 inch. Like, thank you guys. <laughs> like, that, to me, that's a big deal. But if you're looking for some fucking killer death metal, you're in, you're out, five tracks, this is pummeling killer shit. From America, I, I really love Future Tomb. I, like I said, I mean, these are young kids, but like, from that, I mean, I don't want to say kids, you know what I mean, like, I'm, I'm like a geezer compared to these dudes. Probably. I mean, I don't know how old this Mark guy is, but he's got a suffocation pierced from within shirt on, so that's always sick. But uh, I am beyond impressed with like this whole release. I really, really love Ethan Camp's work with the production. The cosmetics are really sick, which is something Desert Wasteland's real good with when it comes to their cassettes. Even go back to the demo, it's got like you know the red shell and everything I, I they just always do a good job but comparing the demo to the ep it's like yeah they really really up the game here with the self-titled and i really like the fact that they're working with awesome artists from rusted winds to nightmare imagery they're on desert wasteland I don't know who handles this internationally, but somebody should. And like I was saying, I mean, I would love to have this like as a split with a cursed womb on vinyl, but you know, it, if that was to happen, that'd be fucking sick. Cause we're not doing the compilation on vinyl. We're just doing the crushing the larva of Christ demo on vinyl that's it it will not be the compilation the compilation if you want a copy there's four tapes left on verminosis and then we have 500 official cds coming in a couple months not even a couple months soon so get ready but check out the intro here and I'll leave the rest up to you. Now remember, this is a real sample from a real cult. So, 
Keep that in mind. I thought it was very clever. And we'll just title this tape. I know it's fucked up, uh, but it's a good sample, trust me. About to be recycled. Your only chance to evacuate is to leave with us. Planet Earth. Planet Earth. About to be recycled. About to be recycled. Your only chance to survive or evacuate is to leave with us. I don't want to spoil this bad boy too much, but it's fucking ridiculous. Seriously, Future Tomb self-titled EP on Desert Wasteland Productions, top shelf American death metal. Get into it, and from Denmark soon, oh yeah, we're having the debut full length from K.O. in Kill Town Death Metal. I am so stoked, because this is how I found out about it. I was like, yo, I have a fucking KO in long sleeve, and then I found out it's for the new album. There you go. <laughs> so, fucking A, man. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't get to upload yesterday. I didn't have a... I had, I had stuff to do. I'm sorry. I, I, like, legit did not have time to film anything, and... Yeah, I'm sorry, but... Definitely, if this is still available, if you have some Christmas money burning a hole in your pocket, go grab this, because you will not be disappointed. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. And just because I haven't gone over this yet does not mean I don't love it. Hey, Caligari has both of these Succumb releases, and they are amazing. Like, and I'll get to that, just... Give me a little bit of time, because I'm still trying to get through, like, the, like Dream Unending, uh, Forever Glade. But I'm pretty set. I just have to wait for the next mail day, and then the next mail day. And then I might have something, and then it's time to do Album of the Year shit. So, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, as always. You fucking rule. Thank you to Kyan. Kian, I'm sorry, brother, but I appreciate this so much. I wish I could have gone over it earlier, but so much shit got in the way. I apologize, but thanks for watching. As always, you fucking rule. Hails. Hails.